Springtime is here, which means work on my log cabin is about to be in full swing again. But it also means the ground is saturated with water. Last year I spent so much time walking through mud holes that my boots were perpetually soaked until midsummer. Even though I've tried different brands of spray-on waterproofing, I found that they were all useless to keep the water out. So I decided to make my own waterproofing. And it's so good that it actually keeps my boots dry for the entire day. Which is why I want to share the recipe with you. Not only does this homemade waterproofing recipe keep your boots dry, but it also preserves leather, and the ingredients are environmentally friendly. In fact, the key ingredient for this recipe is taken straight from nature itself, beeswax. This recipe calls for just three ingredients, beeswax, white petroleum jelly, and essential oil. I went to a local honey producer and I bought this two pound chunk of beeswax from him for $10. Earlier, I tried purchasing beeswax from several hardware and online stores, but they either didn't carry it, or they sold it for an outrageous price. So for $10, I got 20 times the beeswax I needed, at a fraction of the going rate. Secondly, I bought some standard white petroleum jelly. Nothing special there. Finally, I bought a small bottle of essential oil from my local craft store for a few dollars. Now, I could have done without the oil, but certain essential oils can be used to help repel insects. As an example, citrus-scented oil is especially known for repelling those pesky bloodsuckers. However, I chose a sandalwood scent because it smells manly. In a tin can, I measured out 8 ounces of petroleum jelly, After that, I broke off a 2 ounce chunk of beeswax. Then I placed the tin can in a pot of water to boil on the stove. Once the petroleum jelly had started to liquefy, I added the chunk of beeswax. When the jelly and the beeswax had completely melted together, I added a tablespoon of the sandalwood essential oil. The beeswax smells amazing on its own, but I wish you could smell the kitchen once I added the sandalwood to it. All I can say is, the beeswax and sandalwood make a killer combination. I took the pot off the stove, and I moved the tin can outside to where my boots were waiting. I only let the mixture cool for a couple minutes before I started scrubbing it into my boots. That's because I wanted the mixture to cool only slightly so that it would be thick enough to stay on my brush while still being warm enough to properly absorb into the leather. With my first brush, I liberally coated the entire boot, making sure to pay special attention to the seams. I then switched to a bigger brush and scrubbed the excess into the leather and seams. Once I was satisfied with my work, I let the boots sit for at least 24 hours to allow the waterproofing to completely saturate the leather. Then I used a cloth to polish my boots and wipe away the excess. I reheated the remainder of the waterproofing and poured it into a jar to harden. I will use this to add additional coats to my boots when needed. As well, this stuff is also great for your skin and lips. And as for the remainder of the raw beeswax, I'll be saving it for future projects, like waxing skis and weatherproofing my axe. Since weatherproofing my boots, I've given them a good test in the mud, and I'm very pleased with the results. After stepping through deep puddles up to my laces, my boots stayed relatively dry. Only one of my boots had a bit of moisture on the inside, but both my socks remained dry. And that's with the boots having only one coat on them. Adding multiple coats would do an even better job at keeping water out. 
You can see that before, water quickly soaked into my boot, and the leather on them was weathered. But now you can see that the water beads off of my boot, and the leather is in a much healthier condition. All in all, I'm very happy with this recipe, and I hope that you will be too.